Greetings, hello and hi, my name is Azurai and you're listening to the Azcast. In today's episode, Rachel Rolf stumps the red team. Enough said. And Lucky died first. Five, Five, four, I'll beat them four, to death with my three, two, one! <laughs> six, 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 James. Well done, Az. Indeed. Rachel now sacks and now let's see what she's capable of doing against the red team. It appears that she's definitely get the early game gank on Heaven Sniper as well as Ambush, the spy. Not really prepared for that early game exchange. It did not have the dagger up. It appears that Sick Sick James will be taken down, followed by Random Hat. The spy is now in a poor position, will be chased down. It appears that, yes, Athena will be taken off the field, unable to do as much damage as they possibly would have hoped. There is the first rage around, appears that Cobra Boy will be taken down and Nero will be forced to give the GG to avoid the hit. I just can't wait to make a reference when Rachel kills Gamma. Indeed. Why the yeah. interesting exchange, how it appears the medic has used the Uber Charge, switching to the scout of all people. Guppy unfortunately will be taken down as the sentry position is taken down in the early game within the first minute. As a result, it was not leveled up to the potential that it could have been, and it was taken down before its time. Rachel's boyfriend, however, will be dis will be displeasing Rachel, and as a result, will be bitch slapped off the field. She don't love you no more. Luck the duck will be taken no down off. Will be taken down as well. Taken down off. Yes. Anyway, the Demonite charging in only to get Rage will be taken down. Yes, Kane is taken down. And appears that the scout trying to get out of there with his boombox. The Pyro moving into cover escape only the back end of the corner. Once again, using the air blast to get a small amount of distance. How it appears that he's trying to hide in the corner. Not exactly the best place to hide, but it's here to have work. As Shadows is stomped on instead. However, there is a stab in exchange for that kill. The engineer now in a poor position. He's isolated, trying to get out of here. He's able to juke sacks now, only to walk into wall, and Sergeant S. Creeper will be taken off the field as well. There is another rage, but it appears that Saxon now has failed to make his footing. There is the second super jump, and it appears that I sick your duck will be taken down as well. Unfortunate exchange for the red team. They have lost two of their engineers in the it, within the single minute. How it appears that the pyro is now isolated, trying to get out of there. He does not have the health to flare jump and is wasting ammo. And Kablam will be taken down as well. Unfortunate to go out the way that he did. Saxon now, however, is forced back, failing that jump for whatever reason. It appears that the sniper is able to get some small amount of durati before Mike Litteris got excited. And there is indeed the Guma jump in exchange for the kill. How it appears that Silverwing will be taken down as a result of it. Saxon now taking the best of that situation. And it appears that the Heavy will be able to get Ubercharged from that medic, dealing some damage before Saxon now takes down Spontaneous Kid with a rather lazy gank that somehow succeeded. It appears that Dark will be taken down as we attempt to find Sex now once again. There he is, going in with the super jump. It appears that Azurai's gay friend will be taken down from behind. I'm sure he got quite excited by that exchange. Antoine and Mr. Mr. Nine will be taken down as well. The scout trying to get out of range. It appears that he does have the scatter gun. Unable to force Sex now back, and it appears that Mama's Angels will be taken down. I'm sure it was as a result of it. Moving in with the super jump, he needs to take down a single scout. Let's see how good this scout is able to outmaneuver Saxon now, as he does have 18,000 health with two minutes left on the clock. Let's see what he can get into position for. It appears that the super jump has been wasted, and he has gone to ground, unable to find the scout as the scout gets out of range. But it appears that Saxon now has been spotted once again. Moving in with the super jump, how it appears that he is able to get the get Hoomba on Kitty Co security, and Rachel will be taking the win, and that is indeed game. I have no idea how that happened. What is this? Hey there folks, me again. Hope you enjoyed the stomping. Also, I've hidden a green thumb somewhere on this page. See if you can find it. And last but not least, thanks for watching and I hope it was worth the wait. I'll see you next time.